Guys, during this ongoing chaos of express entry draws in the, uh, you know, the category based invitations, people are now giving second thoughts and thinking that whether going for an express entry is even worth it because nobody knows what kind of draws are going to come in the future, what kind of targets are going to be there, how many people will be invited in which draw, are they going to be all programs or Canadian experience class or how many people in the French category, should we be preparing for French at all or should we be putting in all the efforts on trade or whatever. Guys, there are so many questions going around. I face those questions on an everyday basis during my consultations as well. So uh, fortunately, Globe and Mail got hold of uh, you know these targets for IRCC, where they've talked about the targets for each category as well. Guys, that particular number gives us a good you know sneak peek into what IRCC is planning. What can you expect in terms of targets, numbers, all programs, maybe Canadian experience class whatsoever. We will look at all of those possibilities in this video today. So if you are interested in moving to Canada and PR is on your mind, please be tuned till the end. My name is Sahil. Guys, welcome back once again. My name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice in Ontario. My office is in Canada. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to connect with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, ever since the category based draws started in the month of June 2023 as a part of Bill C-19, the express entry draws have not been less than a chaos. They have been all over the place. No format of days, no specified number of uh, you know invitations being rolled out, high cutoffs, low cutoffs, everything is all over the place. People are so confused, they have literally no direction to run through. Some people have started you know leaving their current jobs, going towards trades, people are spending time in learning French. Overall, nobody knows what to do. So we you know went through all the available pool numbers historic census the num you know the uh, the number analysis and fortunately there was another news recently that globe and mail uh, you know released a report where ircc is talking about its um, you know targets with regards to the categories now overall let me just talk about the basics first and then i will talk about what kind of numbers are going to be there in the year 2023 and the remainder you know the remainder year of 2023 and the year 2024 Guys, overall, Express Entry was supposed to take 82,880 people in terms of landed permanent residents through Express Entry in this year. So 2023 was this number. For the year already, there have been 7,000, oh, so 77,748 invitations have already gone out. So that means IRCC has almost hit its quota for the year 2023. That does not mean that they're going to pause the invitations because normally IRCC holds invitation the first half of a particular year so that those first half, you know, invitations can be landed PR in the second half of 2023. Okay. So that's the quota. So first six months is usually when they try to exhaust the invitation quota and so that the people can land in the remainder of the year 2023. So overall, if you look at this today, so today is the August 15th, 77,748 invitations have already been sent out. So that means approximately 5,000 uh, invitations are left. This means that another all program draw of about say 4,500 people or you know 5,000 people, IRCC is done with the quota of 2023. Okay, now comes 2024. IRCC is expecting to land about 109,020 people in 2024, which will go up by another 5,000 to 114,000 in the year 2025. So that means for people who are supposed to land in 2024, IRCC will start inviting people in the remainder of the year 2023. So don't be worried about the draws. They will still continue, hopefully. And the new draws will be based on the new quotas. Okay. Now, as you already know that in the month of June 2023, IRCC finally started releasing category based draws, which was a part of the Bill C-19. 
and they you know they had released six categories which were mainly stem french trades transportation agriculture and healthcare so ircc released these six categories and they said that along with the all program draw we will invite people in these six specified categories overall the report says that ircc is supposed to hit um, 28 to 31% for the stem category draws so stem is science technology engineering and mathematics right so they say that for stem categories out of the you know the 109000 for 2024 28 to 31% should go to stem categories so i believe um, somewhere in the month of september and onwards we should start seeing more of stem draws for the remainder of this year they may send out more stem draws because they've they've sort of exhausted the quota for 2023 already right so we should not be seeing more more drama in the in this quota but yes more drama in the 2024 quota will be there based on these quotas so out of the 109000 28 to 31 percent should be hitting draws for stem specifically for french they are saying 11 percent to 15 percent is targeted towards the french category uh, for the health they are expecting to bring in about 9% to 12% of the people uh, for trades 3% to 4% and for the balance of agriculture and transport each should have 1% to 2% each so 1 to 2 for uh, you know each of them guys overall the total tells us that between 53% and 66% of the the whole uh, year 2024 which is 109,000 people sh should be category based draws so more than half of the draws that you'll see next year starting you know September onwards you will mostly see these draws okay so obviously stem will be more than the other you know so fr uh, stem French and then you will see health and trades and the other ones so you can think you know that the remainder of the year you can bifurcate those numbers and see how many draws have happened and how many more will happen during the year. If this trend continues and if IRCC actually follows these targets, then the all program draws should sit anywhere between 34% to 47% of the overall target. Okay, so you know, just think of it 100,000 for ease of calculation. So you can say about 47,000 invitations approximately. 47,000 should be for all program and about 28,000 to 30,000 should be somewhere around for STEM. I'm just giving rough ballpark numbers. So, uh, but you can do 28% to 31 of 109,000 and then approximately 11,000 people to 15,000 people should be invited for French and so on and so forth. Guys, these are the numbers that are projected for the year 2024, the landed PRs. And obviously to land in 2024, invitations should start flowing in from either September or October, whichever is easier and doable. So first this year, IRCC will exhaust the 82,000 and then they will start exhausting the next year quota. So far, IRCC has held only one stem draw uh, in this year, which was only 500 people. They've held three draws for French, about 6,900 people. Uh, they held only one draw for trade which was 1500 people and they had 2000 uh, people under two draws of healthcare and agriculture and uh, you know uh, transportation has not seen any draws so these are overall figures of 2023 so definitely i think uh, they are way uh, you know differentiated in terms of numbers let's hope 2024 targets are followed and we know what's going to happen guys i hope this video helped you develop an insight into what is expected uh, from IRCC in terms of express entry draws and you know uh, the number of people in what category or all program uh, one question that people have been on and on asking me is that are they going to invite anybody under the Canadian experience class guys my standard answer here is that Canadian experience class only draws are not you know a regular happening they happened during COVID-19 and so far we have seen that what happened during COVID-19 is not being repeated. Not the TR to PR, no CEC only draws. Um, the only instance that I can think that this might happen would be that when they, when they release the categories for 2024. So uh, next year they will release new categories obviously. 
um, if they release those categories we can expect a cc category next year if that happens that will be amazing i mean we we would love that because then i think people who are coming to canada uh, they can plan really well student visas and all the other you know visitor visas and work permits can be planned really well so if cc happens that will be great but i personally think that cc is too broad a category to focus on because cc will not have any knock focus then cc anybody and everybody is cc so i think cc is a less, little less likely they might want to keep cc on the lower so they could put a lower frame of invitation say anybody between 300 to 350 of cc can be invited so I, I, this is what i'm thinking out of the box but uh, i think more than 450 or something like that i think stem and every other category is is good enough to cover guys cc is so far we don't have any news it's not a normal happening so it may happen it may not happen anything can be just hoped for in the next year when they declare the categories for the next year so far nothing can be seen or said on on the topic so far guys i hope this was helpful if you have anything to discuss with me please feel free to schedule a consultation i would be more than happy to speak with you we can help you establish your uh, you know eligibility or see uh, if you're good for any program or any study or work or whatsoever please feel free to schedule one i wish you all the best and i really hope to see you soon in canada all the best